how that get in there showing me his collection of his rifles so you know he showed me his guns or whatever you know he pulled them out he handed them to me because i wanted to hold them yeah so the guns weren't loaded and you know he handed them to me and those motherfucking rifles was heavy as fuck <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Join the family. Without further ado, make sure you follow me at on Prince Jam on Instagram, and make sure you add me on Snapchat at Prince Jam seventy eight ninety five. So now today we're back with another story time until I'm gonna basically tell you guys about how I was locked up with the bad boy aka my ex-boyfriend and yeah because this story time is crazy in and of itself I just need to get this off my system before I get into any other parts of my life that I wanted to share with y'all so with this story time it's gonna be a two-part series so yeah girl so this part is part one and then the next Part two, this story time will come afterwards. So yeah, girl. Girl, this situation is very traumatizing for me. Trust me, it fucked up my mental health. And um, I don't think I'm gonna be filtering any of my feelings because this situation really and truly pissed me the fuck off okay i am not in the mood or i'm not feeling the vibe to like sugarcoat anything so even if i feel like i want to expose this face i might as well just do it i didn't hear that so where do i want to start this crazy fucked up story time because i've been debating when i wanted to share this story time i honestly wasn't even planning on sharing this story time anytime soon. I don't want to keep y'all waiting. So let's just get into this crazy, 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 crazy story time. So, as y'all may know, I've been in the dating scene. I've been dating around, you know, I've been having a lot of fun dating, um, you know, meeting a lot of guys and stuff. And with me meeting these other guys, um, when I go on these dates, I never, you know, hook up with them. I never do anything sexual. It's just us hanging out and it's just that. So with this situation, it obviously had taken place on the bitch ass app called Grinder. Honestly, I was looking to get my one to one two off because I was really in the mood. With this whole situation, um, I just want to quickly clear up a few things. So before we get into this story time. Now y'all know the story time that I did with Dylan. Yeah. You remember when I told y'all that me and Dylan cut things off like a month. Well, it's been like two months now. But like at the time it was like a month when I did that story time. So after that whole situation, girl, between me and Dylan, you know, me and Dylan have this type of relationship where ever since, you know, the past situation happened where the first time we linked up, um, ever since that crazy ass story time, if you want to, you know, quickly run over to that video, watch that video and then come back to this video in order to get a full understanding to what I'm talking about. Y'all could just do that because I'm not about to go back in the past basically trying to explain that whole shit. So if you want to know what I'm talking about or what I'm trying to explain in this video, you have to run back to that video, watch that video, and then come back here. So yeah, girls. So with this situation where, you know, Dylan, you know, was paranoid and, you know, he thought that he got something and he went to the doctor or whatever. Ever since that crazy ass experience happened, Dylan and I basically promised each other that every time we do the do, we're going to get checked. Now, every single time me and Dylan did the do, we always get checked, okay? Let me just clear that up. Me and Dylan always get checked every time we do the do. Because of that last situation that happened between me and Dylan, that scared the both of us. So we always make sure that we get checked every time we have, you know, sexual encounters with each other. Not saying that we didn't trust each other, but we just thought that it was in the best interest for both of us to make sure that we always get checked and always be on guard with everything and it's a good thing that we did boom so with this situation um this one particularly i was on grinder as per usual i was doing my thing girl answering some messages life was going great 
like I already explained to y'all I've been dating I've been having fun you know I've been going on random dates with random guys we haven't been hooking up or anything just dates and these dates always happen from like Bumble or Tammy or other apps besides Grindr. Now, when I went on Grindr, I went on Grindr to, you know, find a hookup, honestly, because around this time, I was really, really in the mood. I was really, really horny. So as I was on there, um, this guy, we're going to call him Peter because, girl, that was the first name that came to my motherfucking brain. So, yeah. So, Peter hit me up and we basically started talking or whatever. And honestly... Fast forward that whole night of me and Peter talking and you know the conversation was going good We never actually met up that night of us introducing ourselves to each other now days later me and Peter Then transitioned our conversation from Grindr over to texting now as we continue to text days upon days upon days girl We were getting to know each other and whatever the case might be now when we first started off talking It was mainly about sexual things. It was strictly about sexual things. It wasn't anything of us planning to become a thing or whatever the case might be so when he first hit me up on grinder it was very much given only sexual uh encounters it really wasn't given oh we're planning on getting into a relationship at least on my part because i then found later on down he wanted something serious but we'll We'll get into that. As time went by, you know, me and Peter was getting to know each other. Uh, we were texting each other a lot. This one particular day when me and Peter was, you know, talking or whatever, he basically wanted to like, you know, officially meet up with me because he was like, oh, you're cool, you're this, you're that, whatever girl. Now, let me quickly describe Peter for you. Now, Peter was 40 years old. Okay, girl, y'all know I love being a good older man. And usually, I don't usually go for older men in their 40s. I usually go for older men like, I'm 24, so I usually go for guys that are, you know, in their 20s or in their, you know, 30s or late 30s, not actually 40s. So, yeah, but as y'all know, I love older men. So, yeah, Peter was 40. Now, even though Peter was 40, Peter did not look his age. You know, he was given very much young in the face. Um, he was bald headed. He had blue eyes. Um, he was really taller than me. So that was like a plus plus on my book, girl. He was about 5'11", uh, maybe six foot. Let's just say that. So he was around that height bracket. Okay. So yeah. Now, Peter also had a daughter, okay? And he made sure to tell me this. Of course, I'm going to explain all that or whatever, girl. He made sure to, like, you know, express that to me in the first part of us, you know, talking and whatever the case might be. Now, with Peter, Peter was very, very charming, okay? He was a charming guy. Like, he was so sweet at first. His first approach really caught my attention. He was... An honest guy so I thought he was honest um, and that really drew me to his personality um, and why we got so close in a short period of time okay so yeah this story time basically was taking place after you know I basically call it quits with Dylan so that's where you know that's a time bracket around that time where me and Peter started talking basically now, this one particular day, you know, I was home, you know, I was just, you know, chilling back. I believe I just got home from work or maybe it was like my day off. I'm not really sure. I'm I'm not remembering and I don't want to lie. So yeah, girl. So while I was at home, you know, I was on my phone or maybe I was watching TV or whatever, girl. Now, while I was doing whatever I was doing, girl, I received a text from Peter basically, you know, asking how is my day going? Like, what am I up to that evening? And this time and third. Now, as I was sitting there, you know, I quickly replied to him. I basically told him what I was doing, you know, whatever. And, you know, fast forward, he basically wanted to meet up officially and, um, you know, take me out, basically. So, you know, I was excited or whatever. So, after me and Peter was there, you know, talking back and forth, making plans for him to eventually come pick me up from my place, the plan was with me and Peter was that we were just going to go on a mini road trip like a late night road trip and we're just gonna chill talk and get to know each other in person because during these past couple of days 
all we've been doing is just texting back and forth and we really just wanted to hear each other's voice in person and whatever girl during this whole time after we already planned this stuff you know of course i got up you know i got dressed whatever girl you know i did all the due deals because honestly like originally we also did plan on you know doing the do possibly but yeah so after all that girl you know I got up, you know, I got ready, whatever, sweetened up, boom, 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 bitch, I was ready. So I ended up sending Peter my address and uh, boom, 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 skeet, skeet, he pulled up. Now, after, you know, Peter pulled up or whatever, he basically told me that he was outside. So boom, 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 fast forward, I went downstairs and, you know, Peter was parked outside of my apartment. You know, I walked up to the car. He hopped out of his car like he hopped out of the front seat, came around the side where, you know, I was going to enter his car from, and he basically opened the door for me. Now, when he opened the door or whatever, I was a bit flattered. I was a bit impressed that he actually opened the door for me or whatever. But, you know, after he opened the door, you know, I got in and he closed the door. Now, when we were in Peter's, you know, car or whatever, while we were in the car, the van, the truck, whatever, girl, while we were in it, fast forward as we proceed to, like, you know, drive and whatever, as we continue to, like, you know, drive around the, you know, the city or whatever, at this point, it was, like, around 10, maybe 11 p.m. at night. That was around the time when uh, he wanted to basically take me out because he told me that on or first date, he's going to take me to see the neon lights. Is that what we call it? The the, the, the neon lights. You know those light type um, situation. It, girl, I'm going to just put it in here, girl. I don't got fucking time to explain that shit. And those lights only appear at the time when, you know, we decided to like, you know, go for this road trip. Now, fast forward as we proceeded to like, you know, drive or whatever we got to the destination where we were basically gonna watch uh you know the lights and stuff and i have like you know little clips here and there i might insert while i'm editing you know this video or whatever i might just insert it in here so y'all can know what i'm talking about and yeah girl so fast forward as we were there chilling or whatever because this whole night i basically recorded and i posted on my story because a couple of y'all you know hit me up on snapchat and y'all were like this man sounds older like how old is this man and whatever the case might be and i basically told y'all and y'all was like da, 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 whatever girl so whatever that's besides the point i don't even know if i'm gonna keep that in here or i'm just gonna edit it out fuck it bitch anyways so as we were in his car girl and we were just chilling um, you know, we were watching the lights and stuff and it was looking real, you know, beautiful, whatever in person It was an experience um, On camera, it really wasn't picking up the experience as I would thought But you could see a little bit of stuff happening I believe you could only see green in the, you know, when I was filming it But like in person, you're seeing green, you're seeing like little partially yellow and you're seeing like little partially whatever else color out there that normally happens up in the sky bitch i don't fucking know anyways <laughs> just me wow damn it's pretty it's so pretty whoa that is very active there We're in for a really good show. Wow. <laughs> I have big hands too. Oh my lord, your pan is as big as mine. Oh my god. <laughs> so it's gonna look small. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You thought my hands was gonna look small? This is crazy. No, it's usually people's hands are smaller than mine. Oh. I usually have the upper hand, so to speak. Well, your hands is definitely a manly hand compared to mine's. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, like you feel my calluses on my hand. Those are just from the controls. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Yeah. We were there, you know, looking up at the sky or whatever. We were talking. So as we were there, you know, in the car or whatever, I noticed, you know, Peter was staring at me. So, of course, you know, I looked over and we basically made eye contact. And while we were, you know, staring at each other or whatever, girl, you know, he basically asked me for a kiss. So we ended up, you know, started kissing. And girl, honestly, the kiss was 
amazing that night. I'm not going to hold you, girl. It was it was something. I mean, he wasn't like the best, but like he 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 it was something, girl. It was interesting. Like every time we would pause and look at each other and we would make out because this happened like during the course of the whole night, girl. Like every time we would look at each other, we ended up start kissing, girl. And yeah, girl. So as we kept on talking or whatever, um, I noticed that, you know, he will, you know, cough and he will just do a whole bunch of strange shit that at the time I wasn't thinking too much of it. But now looking back, I could see how the fuck I caught what I caught because of him. And, you know, I did, in fact, brought it up to him at, you know, at the time, like I asked him, like, are you sick because we just made out? And because when it comes to like flu and cold and just whatever, girl, I catch those shits easy. So while we, you know, while we kept on pausing and we, you know, we kept on communicating or whatever, girl, I noticed that he had this consistent cough and it sounded like he had, you know, either a cold or a flu or whatever, girl. That's what I was thinking at the time. Now, when I asked him or whatever, he told me that, no, uh, he had sinus or some shit, girl. So I was like, oh, okay. So fast forward as the night progresses. We were just there, you know, chilling or whatever, girl. Boom, boom, boom. Fast forward. After a while of just chilling in his car, every time we would make out, he will, you know, touch his private area. Now, when he continuously grabbed his private area, again, wasn't thinking anything of it, girl. He just kept vocalizing how much he's like hard as, you know, he's hard as fuck. And, you know, he, you know, he was really turned on by me. So, as the night progresses or whatever, um, it got really heated, really spicy, real quick, girl. Now, boom, 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 while we were there, things got hot and heavy in the car, girl. You know, things was getting a bit heated and, you know, whatever. We both felt the emotions, uh, the sexual tension between each other. We both felt it. So, during this whole moment, he made it his grand gesture to like take me back to his place uh basically so we could have more room and whatever the case might be girl so you know fast forward we ended up um leaving you know the the place where we were at watching you know the things in the sky the lights in the sky or whatever we ended up leaving that place and we ended up um swinging by the gas station because you know he asked me if i wanted something to drink and i basically told him that i want like an original monster you know that's my favorite drink but um you know i told him that i wanted that and you know boom boom he you know he stopped by the motherfucking gas station he got the you know the monster for me he got something for himself and he also got something for his daughter now remember i already told y'all earlier in the story time that he has a daughter so yes his daughter is um 16 years old and this is a 40 year old man so his daughter lived with him and he already explained all this to me and whatever girl so um with me going back to his place or me coming back to his place um, you know, he already told me that his daughter was asleep, so his daughter is really not going to hear shit, so we'll be fine, basically. So I'm like, okay, cool, even though I was kind of like on the edge about it, because I'm like, oh, your daughter is home, that's kind of weird. But, um, you know, he kept on telling me that it would be fine, like, she won't hear anything, and whatever, girl. So, boom, so after, you know, we stopped by the gas station, you know, he bought me the monster, boom, 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 fast forward, we drove back to his place. And after we got to his place, we didn't immediately got out of you know out of the car to like you know go into the house or whatever we just stayed in the car you know chat a little bit more and somewhere down the line he basically started sharing so much about his life that i never expected to know on the first meetup but he was very open to sharing his life to me like he was telling me everything like any and everything he was telling me how much his ex-wife is like on drugs um and stuff like that and he basically was going to court to like basically seek custody for his daughter that he now has or whatever because it's recently he got his daughter but like he was telling me how much he was going back and forth with you know his baby mama slash wife you know his ex-wife um, he was going back and forth with her and whatever and because she is so high and stocked up on drugs or whatever to the point where one of her other child um, almost you know passed away because of a whole other shit I don't want to explain that because it's none of my business 
he just expressed that to me and I'm just like trying to put this, you know, story time, whatever. So, <laughs> so, um, yeah, so he basically told me just to sum it up that him and his, you know, wife, him and his ex-wife basically, um, you know, was going to court and basically going back and forth to eventually for him to get custody of, custody of his daughter. Um, because she's just an unfit mother, basically what he basically told me. So fast forward, you know, after we were there, you know, in his car just chatting it up, girl. Like he was telling me everything to the point where he started telling me more about his daughter. And then he switched the conversation and told me that, you know, he hunts and stuff like that. You know, he got guns and whatever. And I was very intrigued when he wrote the whole gun situation. So I was like, you got guns? And he was like, yeah. So I was like, where's your guns right now? And he told me that his gun is in the house. So I was like, oh, um, can I see it? And whatever. So he was like, you really want to see my guns? I'm like, yeah. Now, fast forward, we ended up leaving the car, girl. We end up getting into his house and when we got into his house he had two cats like his cats were so fucking cute i have the videos i might just put it in here girl because why not <laughs> and fast forward after meeting you know the cats and stuff you know after i took off my shoes whatever girl, we then made our way down to his room. Now, before we got down to his room, he did in fact told me that um, I should know that he didn't clean up before, you know, he left the house to come, you know, come and meet me. Um, so it's a bit messy. And the way he described the mess wasn't how I saw the mess, <laughs> if that makes sense. Like the way he described the type of mess that was going on in his room wasn't what was given when I actually got to his room. That bitch was a dumpster. Cause he was nasty as fuck. And just by the looks of his room should have told me enough about this fucked up ass guy. Anyways, so after, you know, after we made our way to his room or whatever, we got to his room. When I tell you when he bust that door open and I was looking in that bitch, it was so fucking filthy like the room that he was living in and i'm not knocking anyone's living situation because whatever but the way this man was talking to me and telling me how much he got like money on money and money and he basically don't got to worry about you know money and he got money he should have done better with that motherfucking room girl because it was just not giving after he bust the door open or whatever clothes was everywhere like there was like cups stocked up on his side table close to his bed his bed was you know of course messy but like that's besides the point because whose bed is not messy so that wasn't like a big whatever when i walked into his room i was stepping on his clothes and everything and he was running to grab and pick up everything off the floor it was just a whole mess and his room is kind of small too because from his room you could stare right into the bathroom which is like his bed is here and his bathroom is like close by like this so it was a very weird room to be honest it was really weird like it was really small so when i did walk through the door or whatever and i saw into his bathroom the toilet seat was up there was hair all over the toilet seat and the 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 the, the thing there was like shit stains in the toilet it was so gross girl anyways girl oh my god the more i talk about this crazy story time is the more pissed i get because why did i wait for this to happen oh, girl i don't know I don't know, because the more I speak out loud about this crazy story time is the more I'm pissed at myself. So, so yeah, he was running to pick up everything. He looked over, he saw that, you know, I noticed like the whole toilet seat and whatever crazy shit. So he ran over there, he shuts off his light or whatever. So boom, girl. So as we were in his room, I made my way over to his bed. Um, I sat down and that's when he started show showing me his collection of his rifles. So, you know, he showed me his guns or whatever. You know, he pulled them out, he handed them to me because I wanted to hold them. Yeah, so the guns weren't loaded and you know, he handed them to me and those motherfucking rifles was heavy as 
he was basically giving me a quick rundown to you know the ages of his guns and you know all that gun shit girl you know what i'm talking about anyway so he ended up packing away his guns and then fast forward we ended up chilling on his bed now while we were chilling on the bed we were talking some more um he was a really funny guy i'm not gonna lie he's also a muse a musician a musician oh my god fuck <laughs> So he's also a musician. Uh, he plays uh, uh, the guitar or whatever. And you know, that was another thing where whenever we would have conversations about music and stuff like that, and he will ask me what type of music I listen to. I'm like, I don't, I can promise you, I don't listen to any of the shit that you listen to. So he would like play random music, like random songs to me. And he was like, do you know this? And I'm like, no, I don't know it, nigga. Like, I don't know what the fuck you're playing after me and him was going back and forth fast forward he ended up pulling on the guitar and uh we started kissing so as we were there making out or whatever um things did get spicy things did get heavy and i'm not gonna fully go too much into details about the sexual things because y'all should know by now what goes down in the bedroom when it comes to me he never not be gay for five seconds i'm just like can you not be gay for five minutes as we were there, you know, doing the deeds and doing the things, girl, we were touching on each other. Yeah, boom. Um, clothes came off, boom. He was on top of me. I was laying on my back at this point, boom. We were sucking and spitting on each other, boom. Girl, girl lots, lots and lots, lots of make out, yeah. like lots and lots of deep making out, girl. He could kiss. So, you know, as we kept on doing the do, um, at one point, you know, all our clothes came off, you know, it disappeared, bitch. And, you know, he was holding on to my, my thing, my meat. And, you know, he was stroking and I started stroking him. And, you know, he went down there and he started giving me the God God. <laughs> I was having fun, girl. So while we were doing, you know, the deeds or whatever, he was giving me the God God. And, you know, I was feeling it. Like my, my internal masculine dominance start coming out where i was taking control with that man's head like while he was deep throating me and stuff and telling me how big i am and you know all that crazy shit, he was he was going like, he was going he was doing his thing while he was talking all this dirty shit to me my dominant side came out and i was wrecking that man's throat he was gagging on me and i felt oh i was hard as I was hard as fuck <laughs> during that night. So um, while, you know, he was doing his thing on me, girl, you know, we then flipped. I started doing him and, you know, one thing led to another after I finished giving him the God God. You know, I got on my knees. He went back there. He started sucking and, you know, slurping the moochie cat. And, you know, after all that, boom, boom, girl. One of the things that I also want to put in here to, like, explain is that this man, when it comes to, like, sexual things, he was making weird noises. Like, it was so, uh, like, it was just, it just gave me the uh vibe. Because at one point, while we kept on doing the do, and at one point, I was sitting on top of this man's face, and I was riding him. He was making some really weird noises and he was also a goofball like i said like he was making jokes during the, the the time we were actually doing the do like he was making jokes while we were getting the freak on and it was kind of weird yeah so as we proceeded to do the do girl you know we were both having fun and stuff um you know at one point again i got on top of his face he was making all these weird noises um, boom, 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 one thing led to another where, um, we ended up stopped making out at some point and, you know, we continued to like talk or whatever and we like, you know, we were making jokes, we were laughing, it was a vibe still. Like, during this whole time, um, he did ask me if I wanted to watch TV, so I was like, yeah, like we could watch something. So he did in fact grab the remote, he went on Netflix, he picked... I forgot what the fucking movie is, but he picked one of them um, weird ass movies and we started watching that. Now, as you were sitting there, it wasn't a weird ass movie. It was, it's a very popular movie that I'm sure everybody else is into except for me. But yeah, so we were, you know, we were there. 
um, we were, you know, talking while we were watching the movie. At one point, we started cuddling because he wanted to cuddle me and remind you he was naked and I was naked, okay? He wanted to cuddle me, so, you know, he went back there and, you know, he started cuddling me. Now, during this time while we were cuddling, we did earlier prior we had conversations about using protection and i told him that i'm not the type of person anymore to use to you know do sexual stuff without using a condom so you know i expressed this to him and whatever and you know he was down to using the condom i told him that i had condoms on me so if we're actually gonna do the do he should let me know so i could like you know as we were laying there or whatever, he was cuddling me from behind or whatever, you know, he was touching on me, feeling on me, this and the or whatever, girl. Um, I slowly started to feel his, you know, things started getting hard again and, you know, he was grinding on me. Now, while he was grinding on me, I never thought this man would have attempted to, like, slide in me raw because of the conversation that I had with him. Oh, he was rubbing it up against my booty meat. Um, you know, he started kissing my neck, girl, and stuff. And then, you know, he kind of, like, put it between my cheeks, but he wasn't, like, penetrating my, you know, my thing. So, you know, he kind of put his thing between there. He was just sliding it up and down. So as he was doing all that, girl, eventually, while we kept rubbing on each other, girl, eventually, um, he put, you know, his meat, like, at my hole or whatever. And then I stopped him, and I was like, hey, like, Remember, I told you, like, we need to use a condom or whatever. He was like, yeah, I still remember. Don't worry. Like, I'm not going to go in. So the whole time while he was rubbing up against me, like, he kept on, you know, reminding me that he's not going in. He's not going in. And I believe the man for some reason. I believe the fucking man. So he told me that, you know, he's not going to go in or whatever. Um, he's just going to keep on rubbing it up against me. Now, the first attempt while we laid there, you know, he put it, like, at the hole or whatever. But I thought, in my head, I thought that he was just gonna keep, you know, teasing me, basically. Now, at one point, you know, he applied pressure and, you know, the head, you know, got up in me. And, of course, I pushed him off because the shit hurt. It hurt. So, after I pushed him off or whatever, you know, I was like, you know, that hurt or whatever. And, you know, he was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean for it to, like, you know, go in or whatever. So I was like, I told you, like, we need to use condoms and whatever. So, um, you know, he kept on rubbing up against me. And at this point, he grabbed, he was holding me. So he was back there grinding on me and stuff. And then at one point, you know, he put the head back there and then he slid all the way in. And during this time when he slid all the way in me, he was holding my hands. So from behind me, he was cuddling me at the same time. But like he had his hand like this around me and my hand was basically holding his hand like on top of me. So when he slid in me i kind of eased up real quick and i was like i told you i we need to use condom or whatever and he was like well it's already in like might as well we do it and i don't even know girl at this point like i don't even know why i didn't like you know anyways girl the more i express fucking crazy i search i miss the more this is just oh <gasps> you slept with him you slut but no after all that, girl, we ended up, you know, started to win the do, and, um, you know, we did the do. I don't know, just something wasn't sitting right with me, and I just told him that I'm not in the mood to, like, you know, actually fuck anymore. Like, I, I didn't want to fuck. So, you know, we, you know, we were there laying up on each other or whatever, and, you know, he pulled out eventually, and, um, we, we were just there chilling. So after all that, all that, all that, you know, uh, he ended up, sorry y'all, because my brain is like pushing out a ton of information and I'm just trying to make sure that I fit everything into this part. And this is probably going to be a long ass video, but anyways. <laughs> after, you know, he pulled out or whatever, he ended up starting giving me head again. And, you know, he went down there, he started giving me head. Um, you know, he gave me head for a while until boom, 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 I skeet, skeet in his mouth. 
And you know, he swallowed it. He told me how good I tasted and whatever. And it felt good, girl. I was relaxed. I'm not going to lie. So um, after I came, you know, I started giving him head again. And then boom, boom, boom. Uh, he didn't end up busting only because... Like I told y'all, once I bust, I be, I'm not in the mood no more, <laughs> So, I wasn't in the mood anymore, and he could tell that I wasn't in the mood, but he wasn't too pressed to, like, um, come. So, we, eventually, we just chilled, um, and then, um, he ended up taking me home. 